It's so we have to what so now go back and heal by understanding that it's your decisions, your beliefs, and all this. And when you heal and change the way you want to change your structure, it can change the way the body responds. Okay? But anyways, infinite love and gratitude together seem to help people heal. And that's why he developed what he did. And so when anytime, I use it anywhere. And he'll tell you to use it anywhere. He had people, um, some lady called him up and says, oh my God, I use infinite love and gratitude in this situation. And it worked. And she says, I can't prove that it did or didn't. She goes, but in my mind, it did. Her and her husband were sitting in her household, and all of a sudden somebody's trying to break in, bang, 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 trying to attack the house. And they're both freaking out, so they just started, infinite love and gratitude, infinite love and gratitude. They did it enough that the, the guy that was trying to break in ended up hurting himself in the front lawn. The sprinklers come on or something. I can't remember what happened, but all of a sudden he, the infinite love and gratitude stopped him from attacking, and then he got hurt outside. I can't remember if they ran outside and actually called the cops and helped him so that he was you know, or it made him run away. I can't remember how the story Sorry ended. that you're breaking into our house, but how can we help you, you know, yeah. and send you on your merry way? <laughs> but it made a change in the difference in the field. Instead of having more fear where then now you draw that energy coming to you, you actually stop that energy by putting a wall of love up, and which changes the frequencies so no longer does it have to stand. The intention of that energy is to say, I have to attack. It is, oh, I have no target now. Where to go. And so now you have to decide what you're going to do with your energies, and you don't do it consciously, believe it or not. You do it all unconsciously, and that's where all the programs are run is on that unconscious level. And so on our website, on our banner, you see both of us doing do infinite, infinite love, love and, and gratitude. gratitude. So we're sending that out into the world, which reminds me for our wonderful people here. I'll put the, our website up here. And we've got some other, there was, a, uh, I have to spell it correctly. That'd be great. Okay, so then this person was asking about the 12 notes, and I said they're like the meridians, cool being. Oh, sedative. Does that mean one needs to build up these nature boundaries and filters? To some degree, yes. Um, but what happens is the filters, uh, to some degree, are there. But it's when we take and have that first experience that knocks us off of our whole self, we don't have the filter then because we knocked off it and we can't get back to that filter, our new identity is the tra the, the situation, the, the, the trauma. We have the a drama. new filter built up based on that experience. Yes. And, but the filter, this one is not really healthy. Correct. And so what happens is we're able to express ourselves, and then our new identity takes over, and then we have to figure out from that point how to do it once we knew how to do, which was protect ourselves. And since we didn't process it out and create closure, we now have to learn to cope and handle, and we do this and we keep creating layers upon layers upon layers for the future. And what it does is it affects the musical notes. C and B, now if you want to learn about this and, and really learn about it, go to Voice Bio and Kay Thompson, <clears throat> I can't tell you if it's voicebio.com or not, but Kay Thompson created a machine so that when you ask three questions, one is just a mundane question, it doesn't matter what you say, it is the mindset, how your body's making the chemical peptides. Yeah, that's it. And so then you take and ask the, a stressful question, and you're creating chemical peptides based on that, and then it changes the frequencies. And then when you ask about the future excitement, all of a sudden that creates different. When you combine it together, you create a graph, and it shows you. And pretty much C and B, which is the outer sides, that means the physical. And then as you start to move, and I think it's A and G is the mental, and the E's and F's are the emotions. And when you watch how the bell curve is not a bell curve, because um, <clears throat> it's not completely, you know, all supposed to be straight across to even, it's a bell curve. It's the harmony of how they play music together and everybody takes their turn. When you physically, I believe, I can't remember what show I said this in, but Kay Thompson took and allowed, it was allowed to go into a um, uh, safe house and she interviewed the woman that was abused and she interviewed her boyfriend and when they interviewed means they answered those three questions in a machine didn't matter what they said all that they picked up was the voice recognition and the notes the notes then played out and showed on a graph about what was what you have too much notes up not enough of or the harmony of he had c and b beyond belief she had nothing she had no c and b but she had all e and f and a and g which was uh the mental and emotional and he had none of that and so, so he had the physical. 
he had the physical. So, so if they you came, have, they were able to come. Yes, and it's together. like putting a p puzzle puzzle piece together because C and F is high and the middle is low. Well, her outside was low and the middle is high. So when you slipped them together, it, it made a puzzle piece. So why did those two people come together? Because they were both filling in each other's notes. And because of the way the extremes of where the notes level were, it was a very violent relationship. Okay, now Kay Thompson says when as soon as she builds up C and B, B, the necessity, the root chakra of being able to sustain life, take care of themselves, out physically in this world, then she could probably outgrow him. If he were to learn about how to process the emotion and understand the mental, he could outgrow her. Because you have to vib vibrate in and out and find new people to be with. You can grow together, and then sometimes, most of the time, you have to be okay to lose that part of yourself or friends or whatever so that you can move into that next phase of who you are. But we put so much emphasis on what is a good friend and you need to do this and we have all these rules and shames and and a checklist and we go through we go through life we've got this list okay do you meet up nope okay you're next okay and it's like no nope, okay and then all of a sudden yes you meet all these requirements and then it's like six months later why the hell am i so unhappy mm -hmm. because what we do from the time of conception up to age seven is that our soul contract unfolds and our first experience is the way we react. If we react in a negative way, then you have a lot more to do. Um, you have to, you make decisions that, are, that will eventually become limited when you get adult. You created beliefs, you created your structure, and then you create a tracting factor where you have to bring what we call idiots in our world, you know, but what they are is loving souls that put on, they have their stuff that they have to heal, and they need someone that's an idiot too, so both of you see each other that way, eventually, right. but you uh, gravitate to those people that are supposed to help you create that moment, just like you gravitate to them to help them create that moment, and when you create those moments, it's that choice again. Did I pass or fail? Meaning, if you didn't react to it, and I'm not talking about you're so controlled and saying, I ain't not going to blink. I have nothing. Nothing's going to get past this. And all that means is That's that you are, the human self. mindset yeah. is controlling every aspect. And yeah, you may physically pass it, but you may not on a mental, emotional, and spiritual level. Right, your body starts to fall apart, you, you crack in other ways. Exactly. And, so, and then they want to a question? Uh, know if the 12 musical notes relate to colors. Um, yes, the 12 notes that Kay Thompson was able to bring in, there's 12 notes that related to color, there's 12 notes that uh, relate to the organs, to the meridians. Um, do I have those 12 notes in front of me? Now, depending if you follow just this structure of belief system, yes. But if you're starting to learn other dimensional belief systems about this system, um, then it can change. I, I want to emphasize again, if you're in this dimension and, and hear it, then you're going to create a foundation. But if you're supposed to outgrow it, then you will find out that something will change. Okay? So, is there a specific color that uh, you want me to see what it is? And if so, let me know. Um, otherwise, there's... And what K has done is notice that the body is let's say your, your F sharp is too low, then C will usually be too high. And so she created it so that when you put them to fold them over, you will actually see what note will actually correspond with another note that will actually work together. And healing, you know, so I like how she was able to interpret this. The, if you notice, like for instance, I'm going to pick a note and they're saying B, which is a physical, it's about the colon, the large intestines, and she found out the body breaks down in that fashion. You'll start having colon issues. You may not know that. You may have large intestine issues. You may not know that. But you may be able to feel it on the esophagus and trachea level, or you may feel it in your hands and wrists and arms. I mean, that, that sounds like acid reflux. You talk about the esophagus if you're having the digestive stuff and it's coming back up right. because you're not able to process. That's why I don't look at the physical body like the first call, or not first, whatever, the second call I wanted was because we can give you that, but that changes with everything you think and your variables of your beliefs and every time you change a thought. Uh, but what's consistent is the spiritual, mo mental, emotional aspect because your physical can't get affected until those three are affected first. That's why uh, God taught me to come in this direction. So, and B, if you wanted to know the colors, if you're going to look at the color, you want to look at purple and lime. 
um, because it says look at color if low you look at purple if it is too high if your B is too high then you look at <coughs> the lime color to balance you out but if you want to if you don't want to look at colors then what you do is you wear colors if your B is too low then you wear lime and if your B is too high you wear purple and how do you know if it's high or low well that's why the voice bio machine is important but at the same time how do I bring the light to those that don't know? Well, again, we can ask, and we can find out. But when you learn that lesson, or you switch over from lessons, then everything changes. Usually with the voice bio machine, what's incredible is that it'll stay consistent because you're working on a specific path, pattern, and program. And no matter how much you fluctuate consciously, there is a set, ooh, 333, there's a set path that allows you to stay exactly where you are. Hi, and we thank you. Um, we're going to have our Monday night show tonight on sepianc.com. So from 8 to 10 p.m. And it's, remember, it's Sepia Radio. Because there's, yeah. oh, right. there's Sepia, the website, that talks about the Southern, Southeastern Paranormal Investigative Association website. And then they've got Sepia Radio. We, yes, and that is kind of cool. Uh, if you're into comic books, they've got that. If you're into um, learning about diversity thinking, which from how, what we do up to what is Satanism. But it's different because a Satanist is not what we think it is. I was totally it's shocked to different. learn that. And I'm a listening to it and I'm like, and, and you know, as ordained clergy, I'm sitting there listening to what a Satanist is. Based on what we're told that we have to exactly. be aware of, how we're supposed to get and down. And so it's just, it's a fascinating, is it something that I would get into? Um, maybe, I, Here's maybe the thing. not. But it's like, it's their perspective, and it's like... Right, but they took a diverse label because they want the attention of wake up. And, right. I, and I, I get it. But there's all different forms of it. We're a palette of colors on this radio it's station, like going and I love it. Shopping, or you're trying on different clothes, or whatever works, because they talk about ghosts and ghost hunting in ways that we don't talk about interacting with the spiritual world. So it, there's that aspect. There's and all then the, kinds I mean, of. There, and then there's other forms of mm -hmm. psychics and other. And so it's just like it's just this whole. It's so much variety, just all in one place. If I look at how we're talking about um, what we do, it is paranormal. If you really look up a definition, it is paranormal. With this new spiritual insight of being the spiritual human and learning to spiritually wake up, it is still paranormal to some degree. Um, we're just bringing another flavor in. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this caller. Yes. Southern, I can't read it. Southern Oracle 79. Hi, you're on the air with Brenda and Jen. Hello. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hi. How can we help Hi, you? Hi, how are you all? We're great. awesome. That's great. That is great. Um, this is Shanice. This is Oracle Treehouse in the... <gasps> oh, yes. Hi. Great. Um, You've been having all that information. Synchronicity. Yes. This is so synchronistic. How about I was doing a little art today. I love to do art. And I did a circle, but it was different colors. Oh of the circle and I'm the whole time I'm like okay I know this is me I know this is me and then I tune into y'all's radio show and y'all are talking about this I'm like okay I love it so cool. <laughs> I love it love it awesome <laughs> awesome that's exciting it is definitely hey do you want anything else from us um I, I just wanted to know like okay well what I can tell you about the painting that was well, the um, drawing that I did yellow is the outside Rank. Okay. Um, is that a good thing? Yes. Because I know yellow has to do with intelligence. It's, if it's you're your, looking at left and right, and you, have the, you have complete self-esteem, the confidence, and then the reverse order is fear. And when you, it depends on how you're interpreting your painting, because at the outside is the protection layer. What you're doing is you may be leading with it, also saying, this is my self-esteem, this is who I am, this is how I identify myself. So that sounds good to me. That's your third, yeah, that's your third, third chakra. chakra.